documentary is turning the spotlight on a mental illness that affects nearly 6 million Americans. A bipolar, American bipolar, follows one man's journey from diagnosis to healing in an effort to help break the stigma of a mental health challenge and to offer hope to those who may be struggling in silence. Please welcome Emmy-winning filmmaker Alan Lupke and Tony Kern, a blues musician and subject of this film. Thank you both for being here. How are you? Um, how did this film get started? Well, I was in New York and kind of splitting my time between there and L.A., working on movies and kind of large client projects. And a friend contacted me and said, hey, I've heard of this story about this blues musician who has bipolar disorder and is going to be treating it with holistic medicine. And that's, you know, mental illness is something that affects all of us. It's yeah. affected me and my family. And I basically packed my bag, came back to Portland and said, Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, your first film, your first full-length documentary was an entirely different story. Just because it's so interesting, tell us what that was about and then we'll launch on this one. So that's a documentary called Glenna, which is a feature-length documentary about Glenna Avila, who at 35 years old started cage fighting to take care of her kids. Can you believe that? Is that the most fascinating story? Where is she from? She's from the Columbia Gorge. So she's actually from the Dalles in Oregon. And I made that film independently, spent about four years working on it on my own and it got into one of the biggest film festivals in the world. Showtime acquired it. It's now being remade into a fictionalized version with an HBO actress and it really launched my career as a filmmaker. That's amazing and the actress is someone from Game of Thrones, correct? Yeah, she's, she's known. Yeah, <laughs> she's known. So when you heard about Tony's story, what was it that grabbed you so much? Well, I always like telling stories about families and about communities. And so when my friend told me about Tony, I was like, well, the film Glenna was just about, on the surface, it's about cage fighting. But when you watch it, it's just about what a family is going through, trying mm -hmm. to help each other through a difficult time. And I heard that Tony and his family and his friends and his care team were helping him go through a difficult time and helping him get better. I was like, well, those are the stories that I love yeah, to tell. That you want to tell. Tony, tell us a bit about your diagnosis, how you found out what was going on. I've always known that there was something, but I didn't know what to call it. Right. Uh, and you'll see in the trailer that I talked about that, but um, it was really uh, one day while I was uh, just graduated from college that uh, I knew something was wrong and I just broke down. I uh, drove myself to the hospital and uh, was checked in for about a week, and that's when I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Did you? think that made sense of what you'd been going through when you got that diagnosis? It's almost a relief when you're diagnosed because you can put a name to the face of bipolar. And figure out some kind of a plan. And figure out a plan and then there's, there's, there's all kinds of treatment uh, available to you. So it's like then it opens the world of treating bipolar disorder. So I went straight to pharmaceuticals and the side effects for that was, was horrible. And I knew there was another way, and I knew it was just around the corner. I just had to wait. So what did you do? Uh, I explored, and I did everything. I've, I've been on countless medications, and I've, I've, I've gone from, from uh, lithium. Now I'm on some holistic medications, some mm -hmm. supplements. I focus on my diet and exercise. I have a nutritionist. Uh, I'm on the paleo diet. And you've done this in conjunction with your family support, your network of support, right? Yeah. They, Other people have been part of this journey as you've figured out what works for you. And we're not medical doctors. We're not suggesting anybody do this, not that. But for you, um, having some, some ability to experiment with the different possibilities and take control of your treatment has been something that's been very important. You know, uh, the control of the treatment was something that really appealed to me and now I'm not at mercy of the medications with horrible side effects I'm at my own mercy and what I do with my diet and my exercise and uh, and everything is how I will get better and I know that directly translates how do you think the film is going to be received in the community of people who treat mental health issues well mental health is an, at epidemic levels in America right now and Anxiety, we're not really depression so many absolutely things. and the fact is that we're just not talking about the problem and we're definitely not talking about how we're going to be treating it 
what we want to do in this movie is we want to take people through Tony's journey mm -hmm. and show people an entertaining, inspiring story that also provides education and information about what mental illness looks like in the beginning, how it manifests, but then also how you can treat it. And it's not just a story about, it's not an agenda-driven film, it's character-driven, it's something that's going to pull at the heartstrings, it's inspiring, it's gut-wrenching, but ultimately it's going to show us how to treat mental illness better. It also just opens the door for conversation, right? Because one of the things that, that we wanted to do by just talking to you is to say, listen, there, there is a stigma around this that shouldn't be there. We, everybody's been through stuff. Everybody's had stuff happen in their family. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the things that, that you're trying to communicate? Yes, and uh, it's said that one out of four is diagnosed with some sort of mental illness in their life, and half of that goes untreated. And so there's three of us on the couch right now and a camera guy that uh, is behind the scenes and one of us is, is me. And um, I'm sure that statistically other people are dealing with mental illness and uh, I just want them to be better like the path that I'm going right. on. And so this opens up a conversation not only about mental illness and the stigma but about the treatment, how it's more accessible, how it's more achievable than people may think. Right, and if we're just not ashamed to open that door, we can get better. That's true. Thank you both so much. Really appreciate it. We posted more resources online for anybody needing more information about mental health challenges. We'll also let you know where you can see the film, and we'll be right back.